Hello again. This is part two of my videos demonstrating the functionality of the reprogrammed network module. I'm assuming you saw the first video. If not, check the links in the description. This video will be short and only demonstrates the features added since the last video. Uh, I added these features on August 2nd and got them on GitHub around August 6th or so. The first code release provided 16 outputs on the module for controlling up to 16 relays. I've now created two new code threads that enable you to program your module with an 8 output, 8 input configuration, or you can program it with 16 input configuration. Each configuration requires a different binary to be programmed into the device, but of course you can reprogram with another configuration if you need to change how the device is used in the future. On the screen I'm showing uh, the GUI for the original configuration that I demonstrated in the first video. This configuration control can control up to 16 relays. Here's one of the new configurations. This can control 8 outputs, like 8 relays. Those eight controls have the same functionality as the 16 controls in the previous configuration, including the ability to invert the output control uh, polarity. But here, eight of the pins are monitors at its inputs and are displayed on the screen. None are connected for this demo, so they're all pulled high. Note I've added a refresh button so you can quickly check if any of the inputs have changed. But the functionality is otherwise the same. Uh, address settings and network statistics and so on. I suspect this is going to be the configuration I use most often uh, for my own network because seldom do I need more than just two or three relays but at those same points where I'm using those relays it would be kind of nice to have some ability to monitor some uh, digital inputs. So let's go on to the next configuration. So this is another device on my network. Um, it can display 16 inputs. There's no outputs, so there's no relays on this one. It's just monitoring inputs. So just like the eight inputs on the device shown previously, you click on the refresh button to check for changes, like that. But again, I don't have any of them hooked up, so they're all pulled high. Uh, this is just for demonstrating what it looks like in the GUI. And as usual, you have the, the same you know, address settings functionality, network statistics, and so on. So really, it's these I.O. control pages that have, that have changed with the new code. Well, that's it. I hope this helps. And watch for an upcoming video demonstrating the programming process. Um, Here's the GitHub site again, how you can get to it to get all the code or to get the binary images if you're not interested in changing the code, you just want to program your devices. It's all explained in the documents on the GitHub site, uh, but I'm hoping the next video uh, will make the process a little easier to follow for how you go about programming a device. Thanks.